Hey guys, this is Wonk Tootie. This is your guide if you want to join me on a community night. I'll be using the multiplayer mod, so I've got quite a few mods you're going to have to subscribe to in the workshop in order to join my game. So first of all, you want to make sure you're in played up in your library on Steam and then click workshop. So click that. And then here's where you're going to type in all the mods. The base mods are kitchen lib. And then you can click that and subscribe to it. And then it's it's telling you that you also need to install Harmony. So we got to go back and get Harmony. Harmony. Subscribe. Okay, good. And then we're also going to need um, names above heads. This will be super helpful for you when you're playing because there might be 12 of us there and it's gonna be really hard to keep track of who's who especially if we have similar um, outfits so streamer outfit pack is another one I like using so if you want to be able to see all these costumes like the Pedguin one the 2d one Miss Monica Ontario all, the, all these other ones right if you want to see that other people are wearing them you're gonna need this one too there's also the mid run cosmetics station and that's gonna be useful if you want to change your appearance in the middle of a run and the only way you'll be able like if you join in the middle of a run like you're not able to start with us right away it's really handy to have that so you can change what your outfit looks like so you can make it what you like to play as or unique to everyone else who's in the game um i also recommend the played up prep ghost which is called um oh sorry Prep. I'm just gonna go prep. It's about the prep ghost. It's spelled plat up, but you know what I mean. And then we also have a few fixes that we need to install. So let us just type in fix. Here's this. There's the prep ghost fix. Make sure you have that one, so then you can use the start menu in the game. There's also a hot fix. Uh, coffee for coffee. Make sure you add that one as well. So that I don't know if the host needs it, but it doesn't hurt to have it, especially if you're just playing on your own. Other mods I'm using that you don't need to have are MMO Kitchen, which this is the one that allows me to have 12 players at once. I don't think you need it if you're not the host, but you might. I'm not sure. And another one I like to I have used before is the new card every day one so I'm not gonna subscribe to that right now but if you like the challenge of having a new card every single day you start this one's really fun I would recommend that one and there's also the kitchen designer mod and that allows you to use the custom seeds like the bigger ones that anyone can make and upload to the um, the kitchen designer website I think it's called plate up tools I'll link that in the description, but you can also subscribe to that one. So once you have all those mods installed, you can see um, you go to, oops, that's not right. <laughs> Where was the button? Here it is. You go, you go to workshop again, you can press browse, go to subscribed items, and you can see all the mods that you've added. So make sure all of these are subscribed. You don't need you don't need all of them, but all the ones I showed, most of these mods will be needed to play Community Night with me. And I'll make a list of the ones that are required for Community Night. Hopefully that helps, and hopefully you can join us right away. Thanks for watching everyone, and happy plating!